Hi, this is Andy Plesser's best friend, Tony Perkins of Always On, who I'm hosting a great conference here, and I'm here with the probably the most famous venture capitalist on the planet. I mean, you control billions of dollars everywhere. Right. So, so uh, let's talk about the Draper Fisher Empire. You know, how 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 far does it it, it cover the world? Actually, we're covering pretty much the whole world now. We've got 38 offices around the globe, and, uh, and it's been really effective in ways uh, that we never imagined before. We've been able to make introductions to people at Samsung or Siemens because we, we have people on, on board that are local to them. And we've been able to uh, uh, fund companies with a lot better information than we ever had before because there, there might be 30 um, different companies all in the same industry, but they're spread out all over the world, and we'll have a lot better access to all of them because we have feet on the street in each place. Wow, so, sounds like a hugely unfair advantage for you guys. Uh, so you're here at On Media, and you are saying there's a typhoon that's going on in the media world, and that is spewing opportunity. In fact, that was the word you used, right? Spewing? Spewing, yeah. Um, on Media is an amazing conference. Uh, you know, this Tony Perkins has put on an unbelievable conference here, and and I think media is going through an amazing transition. It's going to be different from anything any of us ever to, ever imagined. And the reason the reason I used uh, typhoon as my my weather report was because a typhoon comes and it just wreaks havoc. On, on media monopolies and it spreads those the industry into very very different places and then the, then the rain comes down creates life and we see a lot more life all right well as long as you don't blow apart always on in the process uh, I'm on your team here so you're so excited that you're moving to New York <laughs> I actually, I do spend a lot of time here. I, I've been spending a couple of summer, uh, parts of my summer here in New York City. Yeah, there was, and, uh, we, we have an office here in New York and, uh, and it's terrific because there's some great entrepreneurship around here that uh, otherwise might not be tapped into. Well, you're known as doing, uh, breaking all sorts of conventions and doing, you know, exactly the opposite of what the Sand Hill crowd uh, likes to do. One of those things is you're, you're, you're looking to invest in content companies, which is a, a big taboo uh, in, in the traditional VC world. Can you give us a little insight on that? Yeah, I, I think actually this content world uh, is starting to open up. Now that distribution chains have, have uh, come together in a new way uh, with YouTube and MySpace and Facebook, they've all started to uh, distribute content. Now content providers are going to start being more important and, uh, and I think that ends up being an important uh, new change and I'm not sure exactly what kinds of long-term companies are going to be created from it. So for now we're putting our toe in the water and seeing how warm it is. Well, you got a really, really hot new uh, deal cooking that's rising to the top, Glam. Glam.com, you want to tell us a little bit about Glam? Yeah, actually, we, we invested in Hotmail, and at that time, it was one of the, fa it was the fastest growing consumer product in the history of the world. But, uh, but, and then Skype grew even faster than that. But remarkably, those were two, were both platforms. Glam is a woman's site, so it's more of a content site, but they also have created a platform around it, a social networking platform around it, and have grown faster than either of those other two companies. So Glam is the fastest growing company on the face of the earth. And, uh, and it's very exciting, and I guess uh, it's a site that women are just taken, taken by. Well, I'll have to check that out. So, uh, so you're saying it's growing faster in Skype, and at what Skype you got a ten thousand to one return on that deal? It was a terrific return. We're really happy about every, how everything worked out, um, and I think actually eBay has a hidden gem there in Skype. Yeah, they do. We're looking for that. Uh, is there anything else that you want to tell the people out here in Beat TV land uh, before we sign off? Well, the Always On Network is really rocking. Right, and we feature uh, Beat TV, so uh, you can see it both on Andy's site, on alwayson.com, and it's always good to be here in New York with Tim Draper. Thanks, Tim. All right.